Hey guys, welcome back to Bob and Mop Food, and we've got another key skills episode for you today, and we're looking at a real classic, making a cup of tea. And today I'm going to show you why this is called making a brew, some mistakes to avoid if you're new to tea, and even if you've been making tea for ages, this is how you make a good cup. Trust me. Let's have a little look. So what do you need to make a cup of tea? Well, here I've got sugar, I've got some milk, you can use almond milk, but I think oat milk's the best, a mug, and I've got some Earl Grey tea. I'm gonna pop one of these tea bags into my mug here. You don't need sugar and milk, but I'm gonna show you the full process of if you are making a sweet cuppa, to do it right. So go get your kettle boiling. Then take your boiling water and fill your mug with the tea bag up with as much as you want. If you're adding milk, leave a bit of space at the top, but we're not going to add too much milk. And then we're going to start the key process, which is after you've poured this, you've got to let it brew. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. Brew. It's in the name. Brew. Leave it alone let it brew don't throw sugar in it don't throw milk in it just let it do its thing and brew so you're going to leave that depending on how you like the flavor of your tea between two and four minutes look at the back of your bag of tea bags if you're unsure but it's not rocket science the longer you leave it in the stronger it's going to be don't leave it in too long or it gets a bit meh so i usually leave mine for about four minutes I'm speeding this up right now a little bit and then we're going to break down how we can make a sugary milky cup of tea. Even if you don't like your tea like this, everyone needs to know how to make a cup of tea for a guest coming over or whatever. Just a good old cup of tea just in the morning or the weekend and it'll grey as well. Oof, massively recommend it. Love it. Just great stuff. Anyway, I digress. So let's go about sorting out our cup of tea. First things first, you're not going to do anything while you still have a tea bag in your mug. Number one mistake, while that thing's in there, you're not going to do anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tea bag out. So you just need to get a spoon here and then maybe a plate to pop your tea bag on. And then you're just going to use just your little teaspoon to just grab your tea bag, give it a little squeeze on the side. Some people debate about whether you should or shouldn't do that, but just squeeze that extra little juice out. And now you can start playing around with your tea. So you've got a nicely fresh brewed tea. I'm going to take two sugars and I'm going to spoon those both in and then I'm going to start stirring it. It's important that we go tea bag, then sugar. Okay, this isn't an accidental order, no milk yet. We've got to stir this until the sugar dissolves, which isn't too long because sugar dissolves pretty quickly in boiling water. And the way that we know it's dissolved, if you just lift it up like this, you'll see if you've still got crystals at the bottom, you're not ready to go. You've got to pop those back in and you've got to keep stirring it. And you're going to keep stirring it until you scoop some tea from the very bottom of the mug and you see no crystals left. This is super important to just get you a really nice even texture throughout the tea. That's beauty. Now you're ready to add your milk. So again, I've just got some normal milk here because it's just a classic. And you're just gonna pour a very little bit in. Remember, you can't untake milk from your tea. Now I like my tea really strong with a couple of sugars so I don't add much milk at all. If you like more milk, then add it. If not, this will do for me. Have a good one. Thanks for joining me again, guys. Enjoy your cup of tea. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Take it easy.